St. Gabriel Catholic Radio is pleased to bring you this gospel reflection from Bishop Earl K. Fernandez for the Solemnity of the Most Holy Trinity. Today's gospel from Matthew chapter 28, verses 16 to 20. My dear brothers and sisters of Christ, in these weeks after the Easter season, we celebrate special solemnities. This Sunday, we celebrate the Solemnity of the Most Holy Trinity. Of course, every Sunday is dedicated to the worship of God, so why have one that emphasizes the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit? The Trinity is a great mystery. There are picture books that show the Trinity depicted as a triangle or try to show God as a a gray-haired old man with a long beard or the Holy Spirit as a dove, but nothing can quite capture the mystery of the Trinity. Yet we have a whole Sunday dedicated to this revelation of God as Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. God is the Father of mercies, and we are His children, and it is the Spirit who allows us to cry out, Abba, that is Father. God first revealed Himself to Abraham, our father in faith, who believed, who left his father's land and followed God, who offered his own son, Isaac, and sacrifice, and God saw Abraham's fidelity and promised him numerous descendants, as many as the stars in the sky or the grains of sand along the seashore. And God is the Father who is faithful to His promises. God entered into covenants with different people, with Noah, with Abraham, with Moses and the Hebrew people, whom He heard out crying, whom He heard crying out to Him in slavery in Egypt, and He set them free through the strong hand of Moses, brought them into the promised land. He entered into a covenant with David, the king, and promised him he would have an heir whose kingdom would last forever. This heir whose kingdom would last forever was revealed in the beloved Son of God, Jesus, who is true God and true man, like us in all things but sin, who gave himself up for us at Calvary and who did gloriously rise from the dead and who revealed the Father's love, not only through the miracles he performed, but also through his offering on the cross, and who wants us to share in his life. This same Jesus promised that he would go away, and he sits at the right hand of the Father, never ceasing to intercede for us as our high priest. Yet he promised that another, the advocate, would be sent, who would lead us into all truth. The Holy Spirit was poured out upon the apostles at Pentecost. Today would actually be the octave day of Pentecost, and so it's fitting that we celebrate the Blessed Trinity. When Jesus went up to heaven to sit at His Father's right hand, as we heard in the Gospel from St. Matthew, He said, Know that I am with you always until the end of time. And He is with us, especially in the most blessed sacrament of the altar. But Jesus elsewhere in Scripture says, Where two or three are gathered in My name, there am I in the midst of them. And the presence of Christ comes to us in the human reality in and through His church. But how are we made members of the church? through the waters of baptism. The priest says, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And when he does, he immerses us into the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus. When he does, he immerses us into the life of the Trinity. We must die to ourselves, and early baptismal bonds were often shaped like tombs in order to rise with Christ to new life. Jesus gives his church to a mandate to go and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And this mission to make disciples and to baptize is part of our collective mission of evangelization. Pope St. Paul VI said the church exists to evangelize. And so, my brothers and sisters in Christ, we celebrate the mystery of the Trinity. God gives us the gift of His very life. But every With every gift, there comes a task, and our task is to go into the whole world and share the good news. Our God comes to save us and to give us life, and He is our God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and we are His people, the people of God. We belong to Him on this pilgrim journey and go forth in the power of the Spirit to share the good news. Thank you for joining us for this Gospel Reflection from Bishop Earl K. Fernandez. If you'd like to listen to it again or share it with a friend or family member, please visit the Bishop's podcast page at stgabrielradio.com.